okay, how many things I got going here? Okay, so what's really good is I can I can really start seeing uh, people using um, the website. Last yesterday's did not load up for some reason. Well, and the emails came in. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right. So I'm, you know, I apologize, first of all, but I'm glad that people are using it. I got it up first thing this morning. Um, now, and what's even better is people miss, and they come back, and they write the quiz, and they get 100, and they're like, yeah, I watched the video. Like, that's it. That was, that's exactly why I put it up there, okay? People that are away, they're at home, whatever, they watch the video, they do the work, they have not got behind one bit, okay? Getting sick or someone ill in your family or someone passing away in your family or whatever it is hard enough to deal with um, if you have sort of this stuff to kind of you know lower the anxiety a bit um, it, it does help okay now we're finishing today with absolutely nothing new we're going to take something you learned a couple days ago something you learned yesterday and we're going to do it all at once now we have been rationalizing the denominator. We did that yesterday, but we did not have to have two things in the bottom. So today, as you can see with all of these, there's two things in the bottom. We call that a binomial. Now, a uh, binomial has two terms, and it's separated by a plus or minus sign. Okay? So if we have a plus or minus sign, that's how those are separated. In English language, uh, words are separated by spaces. That's how we know they're separate words. In math, terms are separated by plus and minuses. Okay? Like uh, A times B, it's only one term. It's term AB. But A plus B is two terms. Why? Because there's a plus sign in between. Okay? Hopefully we're not on our phones or anything right now. Okay, good. Okay, when anyone is actually, when they're looking at their crotch and they're smiling, I always wonder what is going on over there. <laughs> okay. Just, just saying. Okay. Um, the, the way we're going to get rid of, what are those things at the bottom on these? radicals. They're not allowed in the bottom, are they? We have to get rid of them. Yesterday, we just multiplied by the same thing. Now, this one has a nice little trick. When you have two things, you have to multiply by this thing. Root 5 plus root 3. Root 5 plus root 3. Now, does anybody know what that thing is called? A conjugate. Now, did I change that to negative root 5 plus 3? No. Sometimes people get the rule, you change the sign on both of them. No. Just the sign that separates the two terms in the middle. Now, this is a good one to show you how this works. Now, this 2, well, this goes here and here. So you're going to get 2 root 5 plus 2 root 3, right? That's not... Uh, Earth shaking, I hope. But remember what happens on the bottom. Okay, when we take these two, so let's do foil first. Root five times root five. What's root five times root five? What did you say? Five. Yeah. Okay, that's on tape, by the way. Okay. Um, what's root five times root three? Root 15, positive or negative? Positive root 15. Okay, now I'm going to take and do the inners, which is negative root 3 times root 5. And what is that? Negative root 15. And then I have negative root 3 times root 3. Negative 3. Hopefully that's on tape too. So negative root 3 times root 3 is negative 3. Now, 
what are some nice things that happen? What happened to these cancel? And then you get 2 root 5 plus 2 root 3 all over 5 minus 3. Now, I'm not done, but what I'm showing you is when I multiply by the conjugate, what always happens? What's that? Yeah, be, be more specific. Like after I FOIL, the, the two middle roots always cancel. The two middle terms always cancel, correct? Then I get a number and another number. What will always be the sign in between them? A subtraction sign. Now, why am I telling you this? Because if you know this, these can be a lot faster for you. Okay? Now, if I just go and do this, this is where I'm going to finish. 2 root 5 plus 2 root 3 all over 2. Okay? Can I keep going? Yeah? Now, this is the same thing, you guys, as 2 root 5 over 2 plus 2 root 3 over 2, correct? And I showed it on the side there, too. Sometimes they're not going to be nice, but, you know, I, I separated the 9. If you work down, I separated the 9. But these, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So that's just root 5. These two would actually go to 1, so that's root 3, okay? Okay, now... What I do want to show you just quick is when you multiply, so you can just do a little thing here. When you multiply by the conjugate, let's do that. Root 5 minus root 3 times root 5 minus root 3. Now, you know, because we did it already, you know this is the answer. 5 minus 3, correct? But if you can use that to help you kind of get a pattern, what would you say is the rule to be able to get 5 minus 3? How can I just go from here to 5 minus 3? Hmm? Okay, think of the word foil. What do I just need to do? Fla? What? Okay, so if, if you multiply these two together, what do you get? Five. Now, do you need to do these two? Why? Because they're going to cancel out. Okay. Do we need to do these two? So we do first, do we have to do outer and inner? No, so we can just do first and last. So, yeah, flaw or whatever, I don't know. Okay, so do you understand that you're just going to have to do this and this? Oops, sorry, this should be a plus. Okay, that is why we shut our phones off before we come to class. Now, you do the first and the last. So you got five and you got three. And what's always in between? A negative sign. Okay, so it does help you speed it up. Now, this is only when you multiply by the conjugate you made. You made the conjugate. Like, people are always like, is it, like, that's so weird, it cancels all the time. Well, you know, that's actually why the conjugate was made, because it cancels all the time. Okay? It's kind of like, it's really cool, like, every time you flick that thing, the lights come on. Well, that's why it was made. They made the light switch so it comes on, right? That's That was their purpose, okay? So, when you're doing this, it's just not a big fluke. It was made so it would help you with this. Okay, now this one here, let's just rewrite the question right here. Root 8 minus root 3 over 4 root 3 minus root 2. What's the conjugate? 
4 root 3 plus root 2 and 4 root 3 plus root 2. Now on the bottom, we just have to do first and last, right? So what would be 4 root 3 times 4 root 3? I don't want the final answer, but that would be 16 root 9, which would be 3. We can do that part, okay? I just didn't want 16 times 3, the answer to that, okay? So it's 16 times 3. Now, why would I do this and just, like, what is 16 times 3? Does anyone know? 48. Why don't I just put 48? Well, first of all, I would lose a lot of you. And second, it's hard to actually check my work after. And, but if I do 16 times 3, I can check it. Okay? Because I'm going to come back and check this on my exam, right? I'm going to put a minus sign, right? Because I know that these, what is root 2 times root 2? So it's a little less work. Now, we're not going to get so lucky up top. We have to foil this. So it's root 8 times 4 root 3. What is that? 4 root 24. Okay, then it's root 8 times root 2 is? Root 16. Is that ringing any bells? Okay, negative root 3 times 4 root 3. Okay, 4 root 9, okay, and the last one is negative root 3 times positive root 2, negative root 6, good. Yep. Yeah, I could have, but I'd, I'd lose some people, right? Okay, so I'm just going to, now this, four, what is 24? Is there any perfect squares in there? 4 times 6, right? Plus root 16, now I could write as? What's root 16? Jeez, you guys. Okay. Minus 4 root 9. Root 9 comes out to become 3. So what's my number there now? Negative 12. Minus root 6 all over 48 minus 2. 46. Okay? Now, here, it would not have been a bad idea. In fact, it would have been a good idea for you to actually go like this. Okay? And don't leave anything behind. That means it's gone. Okay. Now this one I still need to do. That becomes a 2. So what do I have out there? 8. So that's 8 root 6 plus 4 minus 12 is negative 8 minus root 6 all over 46. Okay. Can I go any more? What would it be? What, what can I do? I can't do anything. Uh... Right? So 8 root 6 minus 1 root 6 is 7 root 6 minus 8 all over 46. Okay? So this is what I would qualify as a gooder. Okay? There's, you got to know a lot of stuff in there. And how many chances are there for error? It's huge. Okay? So, practice is vital on these because that's the only way you get rid of dumb little mistakes. Okay? Now, this one here, it's no big deal, okay? Um, but I'm just going to kind of, you got a trapezoid. Here's what a trapezoid looks like. This is side A, that's side B, and that is side height, or not side height, that is given the H, right? And area is the whole thing. Now, how do you find the area? You go one half uh, h times a plus b. But they didn't ask us to find the area. They found us to find h. 
So determine the exact value of distance between parallel sides. That's H. So after we manipulate the formula, you get this. 2 times area over A plus B equals H. 2A over A plus B equals H. I'm not going to show you, show you how to get the formula right now. Just that is the formula. If you want to find the height of this thing, it's 2 times area over A plus B. Okay? It's pretty easy. If you think, here, I'll show you. Since you guys are so... If area equals 1 half H, A plus B, okay? These are all multiplied together. So how would I get rid of the half? Multiply both sides by 2, correct? Okay, how can I get rid of the A plus B? Divide by A plus B. So 2A over A plus B equals H. Okay? Now, if you have that formula, and they give you the area, so area is 2 times what's area? 20, right? And that's all divided by root 6 plus root 5. Okay? Now, this is why you need to rationalize the denominator. Now, what would be the... Now, to do this, I need to multiply by the conjugate. All the time, it will always work. Okay? So, what's the conjugate? Root 6 minus root 5 root 6 minus root 5. Okay, on the bottom, what's the first number? 6 minus 5. Yeah, it is nice if you actually know what you're doing. Um, and then at the top, we got 40. This is 40, right? Everyone know that's 40? 40 root 6 minus 20 roots 5, right? I just multiply 40 to these two. Uh, okay, now can I do any simplifying at the top? What is the bottom equal? 1. So the answer would be 40 root 6 minus 40 root 5. Now that's what you would call exact answer. Okay, not a nice little decimal. Okay, so um, so we'll do one to eleven, and then again that's a c e g dot 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 for all of them. Okay, so you got a nice chunk of time, thirty-five minutes. Okay, so you guys don't start talking, get right to it. Every minute you do in here does make you better at this stuff. Because some of you, A, will not do it or will rush it at home or whatever. And <laughs>